Happy Friday, everyone. I missed the Wednesday lesson of the day. Um, I had two things I wanted to talk about right now before I start surgery. I'm just going to go over it. the uh, two things I wanted to talk about. One was the various forms of fat grafting, which I won't do right now. The other is medicinal leech therapy. So um, medicinal leech therapy is very, very interesting. It's been around since the Egyptian times, Chinese old uh, years and years and years it's been around. So leech therapy is one of the most amazing things ever. Leeches are these uh, tiny little worm looking guys. They are uh, they're hermaphrodites, so they can do it from either side. And uh, they have little brain parts, they have little tooth parts, they have they're these very nice little funny looking creatures. And there's a bunch of different kinds, but the um, the kind that we use in the medical world is Hirudo medicinalis, I think. It's like uh, referring to, to, to heriodin, which is one of the enzymes they secrete. And it is one of the most effective types of therapy that you can use for, uh, for anticoagulation, for anti-inflammation, for deep vein thromboses, for, you can use it from anything to, uh, from ear ringing to uh, saving a flap during surgery, which is what, what we usually use it for. So um, leeches are very interesting because they secrete all these chemicals into your blood. So um, as they're feeding on their host, they secrete these enzymes and there's probably over 20 of them. So it's not just hirudin, which is the main one that causes the anti-platelet, uh, anti-coagulative um, blood thinning, but there are other um, things that cause, uh, that give analgesia, uh, analgesia, which are good for pain, anti-inflammatory, anticoagulant, um, extracellular matrix degradation. There's a bunch of stuff that these other molecules do. And because of this, they had uh, pretty interesting uses for arthritis back in the day and still, and a bunch of other inflammatory issues that people would have. The word leech actually means physician. So these are like little tiny doctors and they come and um, feed on your blood and at the same time they give you big medical benefits. So each leech uh, can probably take about 10 milliliters to 15 milliliters of blood as they engorge and they digest that down uh, either with enzymes they have in their gut or with other bacteria that they carry within themselves. Um, even though they carry bacteria, which is a concern for people, they do have some antimicrobial uh, benefit to well, from, from when they're feeding. Now the leeches uh, for them to want to feed, you have to be a good host at a good time of the day. So if it's nighttime or the middle of the night, uh, the leeches, they don't really want to feed sometimes. If your skin doesn't taste good, meaning you have a bunch of chemicals on it, uh, they may also not want to uh, feed. So what we use it for is to really help us during surgery when there is a poor blood supply, either from coagulation problems or from blood pressure issues or uh, from peripheral vascular issues. So uh, what we do during rhinoplasty, like revision fifth, sixth rhinoplasty, where there's not a good blood supply to the nose or laterally here on the face, uh, facelift flaps, if there's not a good blood supply, is we can attach the leeches and the leeches will start to suck blood out of the skin, which will encourage some blood flow in that area, but it'll also empty up blood that's right under the skin and then um, increase the blood supply coming to the area by decreasing the amount of clotting that happens in these little terminal vessels. Now, the interesting thing is when a leech feeds here, it'll secrete a local vasodilatory effect in the area surrounding it. So one leech can affect a few inches around it. It also gives you the systemic effect. So the chemical actually goes, the enzymes go into your blood and circulate. So um, the effect of leeches is not just for the day that you did it, it can last two, three days sometimes. And uh, if you just do it one time and you let the leeches feed for uh, an hour or so, um, which usually takes like an hour for them to feed, then you get the benefits for the next four days. Now, uh, we use it for surgery, but other people use it for just basic problems with, uh, again, um, joints and back pain. And um, there's a million other things that, that you can look at that they do. And it's really interesting. And it's no wonder that we the name leech came from physician. So um, I love using them and I think it's very safe, very effective. Uh, the 
leech uh, person that we use. Her name is Irina Brodsky, and uh, she has an Instagram called leech something. I forgot what it was, but uh, she's very helpful. She's in the Palisades, and Dr. Nassif uses her pretty frequently. We use her um, as well. And uh, there are surgeons who use, uh, use leech therapy and doctors who use leech therapy pretty routinely. So that is our leech lesson of the day. Uh, they look funny, but uh, we've used them on a lot of people and nobody really is concerned with how they look or anything. It's uh, pretty awesome. So I hope everyone has a good day. I'm gonna run to surgery now and I will see everyone next Wednesday.